Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Guys, today I have a tutorial slash tips and tricks of the Factions world. And uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys a couple of stuff. I haven't done this video in a long time. And uh, since there's a bunch of you new subscribers you guys might not have seen this actual past factions video so this will be review for some of you but for the majority of you you guys will learn the basics of finding raids on any faction servers um, you know I'll give you guys a quick couple of tips in order to make sure that your your faction base is successful uh, you guys can uh, try to make yourself everything fully defended with whatever you want but uh, yeah we're gonna show you guys the tips and tricks and uh, to begin I'm going to show you guys how to use the F map on feature. So basically if I go to slash spawn and do slash F if I do slash F map on, you guys have probably you guys probably know, hold on, it's lagging. Give it give it a one second while you guys probably know that this little mini map comes up in, in your in your chat screen. And you guys might not really know how to read all that. So we're gonna do I'm gonna go pause the video here really quickly. I'll go to a fresh new set of coordinates that just isn't all marked red like this. And I'll show you guys what it takes in to sort of find raids uh, easily. Well, not as easily, but still is a lot easier than trying to just randomly walk around looking for claimed land. And uh, hopefully this video helps, guys. Once again, right before I click the pause button, take five seconds of your time, guys. Hit that like button really quickly right, right there at the bottom. Hit that like button. Leave a comment if you guys are excited for this episode. And uh, once again, you guys have been doing amazing with the likes. So can we try to hit a, another... 100 likes on this video try to hit a hundred likes on every single one of the factions episodes So yeah, I'm gonna go to a fresh new set of coordinates so we can explain this F map on system and we will be right back Alright guys, we are back fresh new set of coordinates and we are here um, on factions green and there's a bunch of people chatting right now But we are going to uh, start to explain this F map on feature so if you guys are trying to look for raids, like I know some of you guys look for raids by looking for these tall towers and trying to find raids that way, but there's a much easier way. So the command that you guys need is F map on and slash F map off to turn it back off, obviously. So if we do slash F map on, you guys will see that this little mini map feature comes into your chat screen shown below. And there's a bunch of little tools that you guys can use like there's a there's a compass on the top left and then there's a bunch of these markings and then the faction names down here that you guys not you guys might not really know how to read yet so this is what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today how to read this feature here in order to be in order to find raids so basically let's start this out so um, once again if you click F3 you guys can using the F3 button uh, figure out which way you are facing so if you look right here where my mouse is it where it says the it says X Y Z and F on the F line you see that I'm facing east and if I change my directions this should be north if I turn to the left if I keep turning to the left this should be west and if I keep turning this should be south now those same exact directions corresponds with this compass also here that's on the northeast southwest so if I'm facing south when when the when the mini map refreshes it should be lit, it should be lit up in red because i'm facing south when this was updated so this is a nice feature to figure out which way how to get like a claimed land base using this f map on feature so that's basically how you read which direction you are going so now let's figure out how to get to this faction base so if you guys can uh if you guys look at this map this uh dash right here is this forward slash is gonna be owned by Bryce nine 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 one? So this faction right here, let's say they are our en enemies, and we want to locate uh, where exactly they're at. So in this grid, this very middle uh, reticule right here in the middle, this cross is you. So this is your player, and each one of these lines, one, two, three, four, five, so like these lines, each and every single one represents a chunk. So a chunk of land is a 16 by 16 uh, piece of land, and it's basically everything in Minecraft is, can be uh, mined out or can be uh, mapped out into chunks. So now, how do we get to Bryce 99991? So as you guys can see, uh, reading this mini map, we have to go one, two, two chunks north, and then one, two, three, four chunks east, and we should be right on his claimed land. So how do we do that? So F3, we click F3. So what we're going to want to do is, once again, we need to face north. So let's face north. This is north. 
And then all we have to do is walk two chunks north. So that's one chunk. That's two. And as you guys can see now, since I walked two chunks north, I am now perfectly in the same horizontal line with these two factions right here. So now, if I'm going to this faction claim right here, it's four chunks over. So one, two, three, four. And I have to face to the east because this is to the right side of my reticule, which means I have to face east to travel in that direction. So if I'm facing north here, to travel east, I turn my compass obviously to the east or turn my character to the east. And I start running. So as you guys can look in the bottom left corner, my character is getting closer and closer to that actual uh, faction. So here I am. I'm one chunk away. That means if I step a little bit further, I'll be right on top of their land. And there we go. So now, the one the one main difference to know that, that you guys are on your land is you, if you guys take a quick notice here, it'll say your uh, coordinate system here and then it'll say wilderness that means that the wilderness is not claimed so this wilderness can be claimed by me can claim by anybody but if I step on over to this claimed land it says Bryce 99991 so that means that you are finally standing in Bryce's territory and as you guys can see here you, nothing nothing can be broken nothing can be broken here because it is in it's in his claim territory guys that's why that's 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 why none of those items could be broken there obviously so this is how you guys find raids. This is the easiest way to find a raid on any single faction server. And this is the reason why, this is the reason how me and Insanity find raids. Majority of the players who have been playing factions for a long, long time already know this trick. But for you new faction newcomers out there, this is a nice and amazing trick to find a raid. So as you guys can see, there's a coordinate system. There's a reticule that marks you. You can use F3 to figure out which direction you're facing. And then basically just pinpoint exactly where... Uh, faction claimed land bases now let's uh, move on I'm gonna pause the video here really quickly I'm gonna go back to my home and uh, we'll talk about some base defenses or slash base strategies in order to fully fortify your base and in order to kind of um, kind of give you the best chances at surviving on a faction's world when there are so many more bigger factions than you so we'll be back in a little bit guys hopefully you guys learned something there and if you guys did make sure you guys hit that like button if you haven't already and yeah we will be right back as i set up for the next portion of the video and we will be back shortly all right guys we are back in my factions base and we will be explaining or i will be explaining two separate situations in which you can f uh, strive and be successful on a factions world so we'll take a look at the first situation guys the first situation is for the very small factions either one or two people in a faction and uh one some of the things you guys can do to help prevent yourself from getting raided so i'll, I'll kind of just be running around aimlessly here and uh, while I talk, so uh, don't mind my actual character and just actually listen to what I am talking about. So for you smaller factions out there where there's only like one, two, three, up to five of you playing. And uh, you guys can't really claim too much land without being fully or easy to raid. So the one thing you can do to prevent people from, or to prevent people from easily finding you using that F map on button is obviously to just not claim your base. Now this does have its pros and cons, but for a small faction base, there really is just a lot more con or a lot more pros compared to that of cons. So the one thing is, if you do not claim your faction base, so you can literally build a big base, but just don't claim it. And the one main reason you would do that is because if people are just trying to, um, if people are trying to find bases using that F map on method, your 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 faction will not show up in the uh, F map on feature because it's not a claimed land. So that's one of the main uh, advantages of not having a claimed base. They can't see your faction name on that F map on feature. Now, one of the main cons, of course, is there are some servers, there are some faction servers, including ours, that does, does not have a full detection of an X-ray plugin. So the people who have x-ray plugins can x-ray the ground and they can find bases easily that way and the one main con of about having a the one main con about having a unclaimed base is the fact that you can't really uh, defend your ch your chests because since the the land is unclaimed they'll be able to open your chest without any without any uh without any consequences because of course the land is not claimed and it's free to use land so that is one of the those are the two main pros and cons for having claimed and unclaimed bases for you holy crap what is that sound for you uh smaller factions out there 
And of course, um, it, it does have its pros and cons. You guys really need to decide within yourself which one you would like to do. It's either having a claim base as a small faction or claiming it and risking. I mean, your chest will be a little bit harder to raid, obviously, because it's, it's, it's uh, claimed. But the fact that they can easily find your base using that F map on feature really does hamper your power as a faction because, of course, the less members you have, the less power you guys can hold. And, like, if they kill you guys once or twice inside your actual base, they can overclaim you, and then that's the end of that base. So, um, that's the first situation where you guys are just a small faction or a small group of friends playing. And the second um, big option that I've seen a lot of people do on the factions green or the Archon servers is massive land claims. So this is the same thing with my faction. There's a lot of people on my faction that are alternate accounts slash people who actually play. So if I do F map on. All right, so you guys have been in the past couple of videos. You guys are like, you showed your cords using F map on. I honestly just gave them out. I, I released them about three. I would, like a month and a half ago on a stream and I, I wasn't trying to hide my base. Everybody's found my base already. It's a it's a massive land claim as you guys can see. So for the very, very big factions like Surge, Mafia, Gaia, uh, on Factions Green, this is what this is our main tactic of defending our base. As you guys can see here, we have several, several hundreds of claimed plots here, which makes our base a lot more harder to raid. So there's a lot of tax tactics that you can use obviously for having a large faction i mean if you do have this big of a claim it's very easy for people to find you but obviously if you guys are that big of a faction you guys should have the resources to to actually defend that base with all you have because once that's lost you guys will have to start building all over again and uh, yeah, that's basically it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. There's a lot of pros and cons with having a small faction, having a big faction, and uh, actually raiding or protecting bases in whatever fashion you want to do it in. Um, hopefully you guys learned something new with the F map on feature. And uh, if you guys do happen to find any amazing raids using that method that I just taught you, and if you just learned today, if you guys would like to donate a raid to myself or any one of my faction members, feel free to message us on the server. And um, if I'm online, I'll be happy to record that raid for you guys. And uh, yeah, this is it for today's video. Make sure, once again, you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, this is Dfield. Hope you guys learned something new today. And once again, we will see you guys later.